Tonight's editorial is about Stan Lee, who, if you missed it, died in November. And a few days later, I posted a blog that was in no way an attack on Mr. Lee, but took the occasion of his death to express my dismay at people who think comic books are literature and superhero movies are great cinema and who, in general, are stuck in an everlasting childhood. <laughs> Bragging that you're all about the Marvel Universe is like boasting that your mother still pins your mittens to your sleeves. <laughs> you can, if you want, like the exact same things you liked when you were 10. But if you do, you need to grow up. That was the point of my blog. I'm not glad Stan Lee is dead. I'm sad you're alive. <laughs> and by the way, if someone says you're being childish and you react by throwing a tantrum, <laughs> you're not Iron Man. <laughs> you're Irony Man. <laughs> well. Let me tell you, people were pissed about this post. I wasn't even aware that I had ruffled so many capes. <laughs> <clears throat> Until I saw that 40,000 Twitter followers unfollowed me like that, to which I say, good riddance, follow Yogi Bear. <laughs> the Bible gets this. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things, including my X-Men bedsheets. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stop pretending that the writing in comic books is so good? Oh, please. Every superhero movie is the same thing. A person who doesn't have powers gets them, has to figure out how they work, and then has to find a glowy thing. <laughs> Justice League, glowy thing. Iron Man, glowy thing. Spider-Man, glowy thing. Captain America, glowy thing. Glowy thing, glowy thing, glowy thing. <laughs> and again, there's nothing wrong with a man writing comic books. There is something wrong with adults thinking they're profound. The folks at Stan's company, Team Stan, wrote an open letter to me and said, you have a right to your opinion that comics are childish and unsophisticated. Many said the same about Dickens, Steinbeck, Melville, and even Shakespeare. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> no, no one ever said that. No one ever said King Lear or Moby Dick was childish and unsophisticated. If you ever read a book without pictures, you'd know that. <laughs> yes, Howard the Duck, Hamlet, same diff. <laughs> to thine own self be true, meet Hulk smash. Comics are for kids. That's why they sell them next to the Pokemon card. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you're an adult playing with superhero dolls, I'm sorry, I mean collectible action figures, <laughs> why not go all the way and drive to work on a big wheel? <laughs> Grown-ups these days, they, they cling so desperately to their childhood that when they do attempt to act their age, they have a special word for it now, adulting. Hey, world, look at me. I just made my own eye appointment. Hashtag adulting. <laughs> Eating vegetables, adulting. <laughs> Today, I wipe my own <laughs> I guess I'm turning into my dad. <laughs> Marriages have been destroyed because the husbands, adult men, can't stop playing video games. When your wife wants to have sex and you can't come to bed because you're about to level up in Fortnite, don't be surprised when your relationship does this.